fucking play, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm not going Bro, we coming back. Shut up. The fuck? Don't run. Don't run. Yeah, run it. Oh my damn, I'll get your ass smacked. Bro, we coming back. Okay, okay. Good morning. I wanted to do a quick response to this TikTok video because um, I've experienced this a couple weeks ago with this black woman's badass sons. And it's a shame that people have to be terrorized by your badass kids. And the crazy thing about it is a lot of the mothers of these badass little black boys they will justify their sons using this type of language, justify their badass baby apes being aggressive towards you. So at my job, there were like these three little black boys. They're always black. They're always black women's horrible fucking sons. Rarely do you come across a black woman that has a respectable um, little black boy. Most of their sons are just like this. They carry on just like the older uh, apes. They carry on just like the older black males. Uh, they talk to black women just like this. I've heard them talk to black little girls like this. They have no respect. It's like these black women are just having these boys and just letting them terrorize every fucking body. Just because you deserve, you decided to have these little demons don't mean everybody else has to put up with this. Teachers have to put up with your badass sons. Some of your black daughters are like this too, but it's mostly your bad little sons that do this. Teachers are quitting. Nobody want to teach at the school. Nobody want to put up with your children. Then when you put these uh, black women children in their place, especially their little baby black apes, when you put them in their place, then the mother wants to try to confront you and say, they're just children, they're just children. No, this is not a child. This is a demon. This is not a kid. What you got coming out of your ass is not a kid. Their children don't have manners. They don't know how to respect people's space. They steal. They do little disrespectful things. They're always bad, running all over the place, doing things they got no business doing. And these kids were at my job in the parking lot throwing rocks, you know, around people's cars and stuff like that. So I went outside and I said, hey, I don't know what's going on. You need to find your parents. Do not be picking up rocks, throwing it around here. Because if you mess up somebody's car, your parents are going to be in trouble and the cops are going to be called. So they went and told their mother, because we know most of their mothers are single mothers. There's no father, no way around. Black women raise some of the horriblest kids. And they will get up here and they will tell you every day that they're awesome women. They're awesome mothers. Majority of black women are not good mothers. Most of them are bad mothers. Most of their kids are out of control. That's why their sons are in prison or on t-shirts. Or when they get older, they're put down by the police. They're unalive by the police because they raise disrespectful, uh, badass kids that don't have any manners and don't know how to respect other people's space. So when she brought her ass and she looked a hot mess, when she brought her ass to ask about what her kids were doing, we let her know that your kids is out there picking up rocks throwing it in the parking lot they're unsupervised and if you don't get them supervised you can leave and you know they always ratchet they're always ghetto so she was mumbling something underneath her breath but she took her ass with her badass sons away from there learn to keep control of your kids nobody has to put up with black women's fucking kids nobody has to raise your badass kids that you don't want to raise no teachers should be getting physically assaulted because your children don't have any respect for authority the other day i saw a tiktok video where this black woman, she got arrested for assault because this black girl got in her face at school. I believe she took her phone, her cell phone from her 
and so the little girl got up in her face. Well, she's not little. Um, a lot of black women's children are not fucking little, but they like to always tell you they're kids. They're kids. No, these are not kids. These are demons, and they will be treated as an adult. If they put their hands on me, I'm going to wrap their ass up and throw their ass around. I'm going to do what you won't do to discipline your own badass kids. So, you know, the teacher got the best of the girl. I think the girl looked like she was somewhere between maybe 11 to 14, something like that. And the teacher got arrested. But people got to understand your children don't have any right to assault people. Your children don't have any right to be calling people uh, the bitches and hoes and, you know, saying all kind of things to them. Then when you tell them you're going to call the cops, then they little badass go running crying. You better get control of your kids because nowadays people are sick of your fucking children. They don't have to put up with this shit just because you birthed a demon out of your ass. Don't mean somebody else has to put up with the disrespect of your children. I see this a lot. And it's always a raggedy, ratchet ass baby mom that's always coming to ask you about their badass kids. I don't have respect for your children. If your children are disrespectful, I don't give a fuck about them. Okay, I really don't. I will make them cry. I really will. And I will, I'm the type of person, I call the cops on kids. I don't have a problem calling the cops on y'all badass sons. If they're doing things that they have no business doing, if they're disturbing the peace, if they're doing things that will harm people's property, I will call the cops on their ass. And I will call the cops on you too. Black women need to learn to control this black son that they are birthing, raising them like shit. You don't raise your sons with any kind of respect. You don't raise your sons to have manners, morals. They disrespect black women. I mean, I've seen them curse out older black women. I've seen them curse out teachers, put their hands on teachers. Nobody have to put up with that shit because you wanted to have a damn child by no good damn nigga. That's no way around. And you don't have the time to raise your child. And you don't know how to raise them because your mother didn't raise your ass right. A lot of times you black women do not know how to raise children because you came from a busted ass single mother that didn't even raise you correct. And then you go on to have two, three, four, five goddamn kids and society and everybody else got to put up with this shit. These little boys start early. They don't have respect for black women. Now, when you look at this video, this girl, they're stealing this girl's door dash. They're disrespecting this girl. They're threatening her life. Where are the parents? They're always outside at nighttime. They're always places they don't got no business being. And their sorry ass mothers are in the house somewhere on social media doing fucking TikToks. Or on YouTube trying to be YouTube famous. Or somewhere on a dating app trying to get with fucking niggas that just want to fuck them. And throw their ass away. That's about it. They're not getting anything out of the deal. Majority of black women are just getting fucked. And they create these little bastards that everybody has to deal with. It's not fair. And it's not right that people have to deal with this. Like this black girl in this video has been terrorized in her apartment complex. And I don't know why she didn't call the police. I would videotape what those kids are doing. I would call the police. If it got so bad, I would call CPS on their badass mothers because black women do not for the life of God know how to control these little demons and they will not stop birthing them this is the facts they are creating more dangerous inmates every fucking day they lay out and have a black son some of their daughters are horrible too they don't know how to raise kids. Majority of black women do not know how to raise kids. Now, I'm not saying all because I've come across some respectable, respectful black children. But majority of black children, especially their sons, are horrible. This is why black women are getting killed. This is why they're getting disrespected. This right here. And people will say, hey, you can't blame black women for how these children are turning out. Yes, you can. They're the mothers. 
You want to have the children, but then you want to raise them any kind of damn way. And then when they get adults, everybody else has to deal with it. And you wonder why other reasons of people don't give a damn about your children. And you wonder why they don't have a problem putting your children on a t-shirt or putting them on the news. Because people are sick of it. You want to create these little bastards. You need to deal with them. Nobody else needs to put up with the shit. Now, this girl can't even enjoy her apartment because she's dealing with some bad, badass kids that are threatening to physically assault her, terrorizing her, stealing her door dash from her door and all kind of things. Black women, you don't have to put up with this just because they're kids. Call the cops. Call the cops on the parents, and if they don't do anything about it, and if they are unsupervised all the time, call CPS. Then they'll get on this internet and cry about somebody calling CPS on their ass, but they got these badass kids and they don't know how to raise them. A lot of times they neglectful. They don't even keep their kids. They don't even raise their kids. They don't even feed them. The kids are out here raising them damn selves, out here terrorizing society. And this is why non-black people don't want nothing to do with you or your fucking kids. This is a lot of the reasons why people don't care for black women. Because they know you birthed this type of stuff. They know you raised this. And people hate you because of it. That's the main reason why non-black people don't care for black women. Because they know you're the ones who birthed this into the world that people have to deal with. And then you get on the internet and cry about the same shit you birthed and raised every fucking day. And wonder why people don't care for you. And wonder why people are racist towards your sons. Nobody want to put up with this. I know black people that don't even want to put up with y'all fucking kids. All black people are not horrible. Some of us got sense. And we don't want to be anywhere near you or your Section 8 babies. Do better. Don't allow people's children to terrorize you. If you keep having problems with kids like this, call the cops. Report the parent. And if the children are always unsupervised while they're terrorizing people, call CPS. That means these children are not being parented. And But you'll get people saying, you know, people call CPS on these kids. Some of you women are horrible. Somebody needs to call CPS on you. And I'm not the one. If your kids are bad, if you don't know how to be a parent, I'm going to call them on your ass. And if you're doing what you're supposed to do as a mother or as a father, you won't be scared of CPS. You won't be worried about it. That's how I know who's a no good parent. They get all upset and scared about CPS because you know you in the wrong. People that know that they're doing right with raising their children and taking care of their children properly are not afraid of somebody calling CPS on them. It's always the no good bad mothers that are worried about CPS. And that's all I have to say about this topic. Watching this video really upset me, and I wanted to make commentary on it because I've experienced this, and I've seen this happen to other people, and nobody should have to be putting up with black women's sons. This is why we're going through what we're going through, and black women play a hand in why we're going through that. So when they get on this internet all the time and want to cry about black males and want to cry about what they're doing to them, a lot of times black women raise sons to hate black women. They raise sons to abuse black women. They hate black women themselves, and that's why we're getting this product of a black male son that doesn't give a fuck because you got a mother that hates herself and hates other the black women and then they raise these little bastards to do the same that's why they don't have a problem when their sons are out here terrorizing you when their sons go to jail they're on the internet crying about their sons being locked up even though their sons have robbed somebody have killed somebody and you will still find these black mothers on the internet making excuses for their horrible ass sons but i'm telling you right now if you don't get your children in control People are going to be putting one in their ass. 
And it's going on all across the country. They don't give a damn about your sons. People see your sons as being very dangerous. They don't want anything to do with them. And even if your son is not dangerous, violent, or bad, people are going to see these black boys all the same. Because majority of black women's sons are horrible. Majority of their sons going to grow up not being shit. Most of the sons are going to grow up to be deadbeat dads, inmates, and fucking criminals. Bums and people that ain't doing shit with their life. That's what the majority of black women's sons grow up to be. Period. And that's all I have to say on that topic. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.